I'm excited about where we're going. Obviously, I see right now that we have some, you know, wrinkles to work on. That was expected. That's what we're seeing in practice. Uh, what I love is that the same team I see in practice is the team I see on the court. So I, I can trust that now that I've seen them in competition. And um, I know what when I see practice, it's what I'm going to get. And I love that because we can make the adjustments the right way. But a lot of um, young, inexperienced players on the court in both, whether they've had starting roles in the past or not, but surrounded by good leadership. And so with these two at the helm, with Katie and Carly kind of guiding them, I'm I love what we can do because they know what the work looks like and everyone just has to trust it and keep grinding. So it's exciting. Coach, you had a lot of sophomores you're starting lineup today. I saw Tamara a lot, mm -hmm. a lot. Is that something that's going to remain true throughout the season? Are these the players that we're going to see game to game starting in the lineup? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think Nora did a great job running the offense. We'll continue to clean up our efficiency. Like we aren't efficient, but when we're terminal, we're very terminal. Um, Tam, as we refer to her, is, uh, I think, just starting to trend the right way. You know, she can play six rotations, swing front row, back row, but we've got to find what her niche really is and help her maximize her strengths. Um, for either Katie or Carly, what's, what's kind of the team atmosphere been like since you two are the leaders? Uh, do the other team members kind of listen to you, look up to you? Uh, how, is, how is that? I would say yes. Like, since we are a young team, the way that they look up to us and trust us that we're going to do everything we can so that they can just follow. They have very open minds. They've been super easy to teach, and they're, like, learning very well. And like Coach said, like, we learned a lot today, mm -hmm. and we don't care about right now. We're training to peak. We want to be our best at the end of the season. So I think if we keep grinding it out, like, we're going to get there. I fully believe that. Mm -hmm. Again, for either of you, uh, at the end of those sets, as you saw in the second, third, and fourth set, it got up to 20 all. Uh, what are you guys going to do going forward to make sure you're not only fighting but also finishing those sets? Mm -hmm. um, I think that starts in practice. Um, the way our practice works is we do drills um, in order to, um, in those stressful situations where it is um, 25, 20, like 25, 25, or 20, 20, um, we like to say start from zero there. So it's just a game to five. Um, so a lot of times we incorporate that in our practice. And I think um, that's always kind of been something that this team has like worked through. And um, I know we eventually get there, but I just think it will start in practice with that. Mm -hmm. um, so something I noticed was a little bit of service errors, like mm -hmm. in key situations. What do you guys want to do going forward to help clean that up? For any of you, whoever yeah, I'll take that. Um, so it's a fine line, right? Our, our goal is to be even on serve aces to errors, and we did have six aces uh, to nine errors. So we're just under what our goal would be, whereas we only gave up one ace and they had eight errors. So in a sense, we're still in the positive, the net positive from the service line. Um, but I do think we have situational serving. You know, I. I worked through a lot of different people from that serving position, and I'm still trying to find what that right look is for us. Like, I know Carly can do it. Do I, do I know if um, Jess can do it? Yes. What about Courtney Heffering? Can she come off the bench and do it? Can, you know, um, Maggie, we saw her go get it. Now yeah. it's about them having that confidence in the moment, and they will, they will be efficient. But I'll tell you what, six aces, I'm not sure I want us to pull back too much. I want us to find the in-between. Um, I got a question for Coach from the Panagraph. Uh, they want to know about the impact that the local product, Ali Trami. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, Ali Trami. Uh, we'll have on the team what kind of role you see her Yeah, so she got the start tonight in the M2. Um, I think she's a versatile player. I think she's been working very hard, learning a lot. I think our environment is very different for her. And so she's been, you know, arms wide open to learning that and pursuing all the expectations that we have, that level of excellence. So we saw her early, have a great couple sets, and then we got away from, um, got away from her a little bit. And we wanted to see what Cassie could do in that situation. Honestly, they've been neck and neck, but um, we love having Allie back home, you know, obviously from the Champagne area. We recruited her the first time around, and she told me no. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we've got her back, and we're so proud of it. Coach, talk a little bit about Sarah Kushner. Mm -hmm. Obviously, she played great today, and uh, I think you expect great things for this season. So talk a little bit about that. Yeah. Her. Uh, Sarah's kind of a rock, but she's also in the zone sometimes to her own detriment where she hears nothing. 
Um, we can say this because we tell her the same thing. <laughs> but she ended up with 16 kills but hit under 100. Early on, she couldn't figure out how to score against number 11. And eventually, she went back to her trademark, which is high and hard. And she really started to exploit them. You know, I think set three and four, uh, set four, she had eight kills. I mean, hit a, a really high clip there. So I was really proud, proud of how she got better the whole match. But she is certainly going to have to carry some weight for us. You're right. And I trust her immensely. So I have no questions, even when she's in a rut, that she's going to switch gears. Um, speaking of number 11, she seemed to just be kind of a wall on that left side. Mm -hmm. Was that... Was that just a testament to how good that left side of DePaul is, or is that kind of a, you guys just made some setup mistakes? I think we made attack decision issues, and then I think she came up with some big moves too. Like, mm -hmm. so she'd take line, and then she'd dive into that line seam or cross swing. Um, I think it took us too long to recognize that, and we kept trying to swing line of approach, where we want to swing wrist away and take that ball cross court, or even hit hands or a late middle. Uh, but she was very good. I think she was bar none their best blocker. Her and number one together, very hard to get through on that side of the net. Um, and then for Carly, uh, what are some of your thoughts heading into your senior season? Yeah. How are you feeling? Yeah. Um, it's really exciting. It's surreal. But um, I'm really fortunate to be with this team, and I th think this team can go really, really far. Um, obviously, our goal is NBC champs and NCAA bid, but um, – I'm just really grateful for the people I'm surrounded with, coaches. Um, I'm excited for Jake um, to be on the team now. Um, it's a really good new addition, and yeah, I'm just overall really grateful. And would you say that those are, what are some of the goals you've talked about with the team for the season? Yeah. Are those the goals that you've had? Yeah, I mean, those are always the goals. Mm -hmm. um, we have other more team-related goals, but um, overall, we want to win championships. Yeah, I think when you're at Illinois State, that's the expectation. Mm -hmm. We don't really get a say in what our goal is. Yeah. yeah. You know, we're here to win championships. That's what they, they tell us when we walk in the door. That's what we tell them. So we don't spend a lot of time talking about that. We spend a lot of time talking about what our goal is this week. Mm -hmm. Because unless we take care of this week, the championship's never in contention. So we're worried about this week. And so we're going to go watch film. We're going to be better at, you know, breaking film down, better at making adjustments in game. We're going to be better, um, you know, coverage. We, we improved yeah. our coverage all match. We're going to be better from the service line, all that. What are we going to do this week to be the championship team this week? Mm -hmm. And so that's always our goal. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any more yeah, yeah, I was just going to say, obviously, we were just here in April. Like, I feel like we were just here talking about last season. This is obviously a completely different team. Right. But how was it you know, this summer having such a short turnaround? I mean, if either of you players want to answer mm -hmm. on that. Like I said earlier, all of our newbies have just like came in with like open minds and they're not afraid to take risks and that's what it takes. And I, I think it went really well this summer and like obviously we're starting here and we're only going to go up from here. But I think the summer was great. I think they put in a lot of work, but there's obviously a lot of work that we still needed to do that yeah. we learned tonight. But we, we knew that. Saying that. Yeah. I, for me, what's weird is like, I don't get the off season to train the group that were freshmen. And then the group that are sophomores didn't get an off season because of shutdown. So we've missed two full off seasons and that's everyone in the country. It's not an excuse. It's reality, mm -hmm. but that's who's playing right now. Mm -hmm. And so it, you, in a sense, um, this is our opportunity to really transition when I think other teams are very senior laden. And so we have time to make big changes. When you're a senior, senior laden team, your changes are small. Like, I think you'll see a different team on the court in a month and then again in a month later. So I'm excited about that. I also want to give credit to these two captains because when you ask about summer, that's not me. I don't know. You know, a lot of people don't know that. I don't coach the team in the summer. They come in in mid-June and they run their own practices. I don't touch them. Mm -hmm. I can't even watch. And so they're in the gym four or five days a week running drills, teaching cues, um, setting expectations, and then they get in the weight room with our strength coach, Ryan, Swinson, who does a phenomenal job. But when you talk about culture, that's why I know where we're headed because I know what they've already prepped. And I think that's a special thing. I don't hear that uh, often from other coaches. And so I'm very proud of the leadership and the expectations our players have for excellence with or without me in the gym. Thanks, Coach. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I love it. <laughs> Good. Thank you, Thank guys. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. I look forward to the season.